It's power rankings time. That's the moment that everyone wants to hear, wants to see after these weeks how the standings flicks, flux, change, shimmy, shammy, all these words that don't make any sense when you're applying them to a power rankings. But uh, there was definitely some movement in both EU and A after week three. Let's start in the EU LCS where teams like Vitality and Misfits were at the top last week and they continue to be at the top this week, uh, but they switched spots. You've got Vitality taking that top spot. I mean, I don't think you can really argue that right now. They put forward two solid performances uh, in week three and their macro, they just completely outclass Shulka. Shulka looked lost and they played Unicorns in the second week, so that's a easy matchup, but Vitality looks great. Misfits, the only reason I'm keeping them at second is mainly because of the momentum from other weeks. They struggled versus Fnatic. They probably should not have lost that game, and they did lose the splice. They had both games go over 50 minutes this week, so not closing games out confidently, but they're still in that top two spot because of how they looked in other weeks. Uh, Giants, I expect this to be their last week in that top three. I barely kept them where they were last week, but... Um, they're still riding high due to some of their other wins as well, much like Misfits. They beat Rockat this week, which was a battle at the top of the standings, but based on the how this week played out, I don't think Rockat is actually that strong a team, so that's not a huge win for Giants, and they lost to Schalke. Uh, G2, look at them rising up the ranks, four spots up from last week. They looked dominant. Yankos and Perks were combining for some fantastic objective control over uh, Baron and Dragon. Uh, neither game was really ever in doubt for them. They looked controlled in both of their matchups, and they looked more like the team we were expecting to see coming into this split. Uh, Splice, stay put at number five. A win over Misfits was really big for them. Uh, Odo Wamne is still struggling, though. That is something to look at going forward. He was missing Orn ultimates left, right, and center, and I thought it was just a week one thing how badly he struggled and how bad he looked, but... Uh, it Turns out it might be a reoccurring theme going forwards, which uh, is going to be a bit of an issue for Splice, but they looked pretty good. They were even behind uh, early on a significant amount against Misfits and were able to come back into that one. Um, Fnatic, people might be saying Fnatic's a little low, maybe put them ahead of Splice, similar to G2 because they beat G2 uh, last week, but they did look dominant. They completely destroyed Rock Hat. Uh, that was a slaughter and should not have been allowed to be broadcast on Twitch. But uh, again, Rockhead, I think, is actually a weaker team than we maybe... Th I think the fact that they started out 3-1 and one was a bit of an anomaly. Uh, if Fnatic had beaten Misfits in that matchup, they'd probably be a lot higher. They'd probably be fourth ahead of G2, uh, maybe even higher than that. But the fact that they could not close out that game really hurts them on this week's power rankings. They had a huge lead. They seemed to have all the control in the world, and they somehow managed to lose that game. So, Fnatic, I expect them to keep climbing, though, going forward. Uh, Shulka, they looked lost against Vitality. They were completely outclassed in the macro game. Uh, they looked miles better against Giants. Again, I'm not 100% sure how good Giants is. I don't know how good Shulka actually is, but Nuke Duck played out of his mind in that game on the AP Galio. What is an interesting uh, pick ban going forwards is what, what kind of Galio do you play? You still play him tank? Do you play him full AP? Obviously, full AP is a lot more interesting to see, but uh, Nuke Duck looked great on that. Rocket down four spots. They went 0-2 this week, and they did not look great. Again, they looked terrible against Fnatic. Uh, they had a chance in that Giants game. Uh, maybe if they win... I mean, they had a chance to win that game. Giants did close it out and look like a much better team, but Rocket had a chance with that one Baron fight where uh, Mementos Camille gets blasted by the Flame Chompers. But um, I don't. I think Rocket's going to be hanging around the bottom three, four uh, spots going forward in the EULCS. And look at this: the Unicorns for the first time in 2018 are not dead last in the power rankings. They knocked off H2K in a battle of the worst uh, to open things up, which is, again, a terrible debut game for week three of the LCS. But uh, Unicorns looked actually not bad. They looked good against H2K. Uh, they didn't look great against Vitality, but, I mean, that's right now the top team in the league. So 
Unicorns, congratulations on moving up to number nine. H2K, they look bad. They look very bad. Uh, they didn't have a chance in either of their games this week. G2 manhandled them pretty easily. And Unicorns never really looked back. They just kind of got an early lead and really snowballed that. I picked H2K to sneak into the playoffs in that sixth spot. That prediction looks absolutely ridiculous right now. And I look like a big idiot. Maybe they'll go on a run uh, to close out the split. But right now, I can't see the squad making that six spot. If they continue to play like this, they'd be lucky to get that six upside down and get to ninth. Because uh, that, that seems to be the goal right now. Uh, that's EU. It's, uh, it's a little different than last week. But, I mean, there's a, there's a couple teams still in the same spot. Uh, the top three is the same, just Vitality and Misfits switching spots. But I'll tell you what, Vitality, whew, they look legit. They look a lot better than I was expecting. Jizuki continues to impress on different champions. He's 1v2ing as Malzahar now in the bottom lane. Uh, he looks solid. People were maybe questioning, can this guy just only play Rise? And that's why he's dumpstering people when he's not on Rise. He looks great on Zoe. He looked good on Malzahar. Not like Malzahar is that hard a champion to play. I think most pro, pro players could pick up Malzahar. But Vitality looks scary. Uh, and they look like a real threat to win the 2018 split. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.